Thanks for taking this time to speak with me. Uh, let's start by everybody introducing yourselves and say what organization you work with and what projects you work on. Okay, uh, so I'm Justin. I work at Red Hat on the uh, OpenStack performance team on Brabi. Uh, I'm Howard I'm from Huawei. Uh, I'm PTL of the Cyber project. I also uh, work on Intel, working with a couple of people. Yeah, my name is Rusho. I've been associated with OpenStack for four years. I worked on similar Ultron and Cup of Ultron before. Uh, and now I'm working on um, Cyborg. And, uh, now, for people that are not up to date with OpenStack, Cyborg is, is a bit of a, a newcomer. Can you give us a brief overview of what Cyborg is and why people should care? Okay, so uh, Cyborg is a general uh, management framework for accelerators. So, uh, accelerators uh, like uh, FPGA cars, GPU cars, and like ARM SOCs, uh, and then the SSDs, and you know, many other like RISC V uh, chips. So, whatever you use for as a dedicated device to accelerate your general computing, um, we will provide a uh, management framework for it. And uh, for Cyborg, the, the, the two uh, main job is to provide a resource discovery for these type of uh, types of acceleration resources, as well as life cycle management for them. So, yeah, so I, I, I think the typical use case for Cyborg is when you have like more than one type of these uh, accelerators, uh, then you might uh, want to have Cyborg to manage it for you. I think the first time I heard of Cyborg was at a supercomputing event. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the, the researchers were asking when Cyborg would be, in particular they were asking when it would be available in the Red Hat OpenStack platform. Oh, cool. But uh, they were they were interested in using it for their for their research supercomputers, so that was cool. Yeah, actually, so we have had interactions with, uh, like I had interactions with, we were trying to get um, accelerator renders uh, like up to speed so that if they need to be held. Once once we have the, the generic driver running, once we have the basic API that's when they can come to play. And they are coded and essentially push the driver Uh, actually, one of the interesting note is, uh, here is that the, the name of Cyborg actually was proposed uh, by a fellow from NIST. Yeah. So yeah. that's this uh, scientific community give us the project name, basically. Yeah, we just finished getting all the references to Nomad out of the yeah, repository. Yeah, yeah. So we literally ripped out, ripped out <laughs> any references to Nomad. Yeah. So, so, so. Unanimous mode yeah. uh, on Cyborg. We still don't know what our spirit animal is going to be. <laughs> okay, so we have this vision of a cheetah with like prosthetic legs, but we need a good like drawing of it. So someday, like team priorities. Yeah, foundation uh, will be good. <laughs> Tell me about Pike. What did y'all get done in the Pike cycle? Uh, okay, so for Pike, I think uh, we. We finished all of the basic framework, so we have the, the API ready now. And uh, you could basically use uh, DevSec to play around uh, Cyborg, to, 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 to spin up Cyborg services. Uh, but at the moment, uh, we still uh, don't have end-to-end uh, -end functionality, so that's what we are going to be working on in the next cycle. Yeah. So Queens, we're hoping to go through the entire workflow and the associated projects, and uh, so we're going to be interacting with Nova. We're going to be interacting with uh, potentially Neutron or other projects as necessary, and we need to go through and make sure they have APIs to do stuff uh, that right now is done by config. It's one of the reasons that uh, that Cyborg is necessary is because um, so we 
were talking to a hardware vendor just earlier today, and they had to touch five different repositories to, to insert the necessary business logic and configuration options to get their accelerator to work. And it's, you know, so it's not just their hardware, it's a little bit more generic. Still, you're ending up with business logic shotgunned across a ton of repositories. And the goal is that Cyborg make, uh, goes and tells these projects, here, here is an API, we will help maintain this API, and we will call it, and all the business logic is on us. And that way it doesn't get really confusing where somebody's like, I need to add this functionality. And somebody just starts pulling out a list of repositories they need to go and put five lines into each. Right, so, so once we have the, like, we already have the basic API framework ready, uh, so we are working on getting a cyber generic driver ready. So essentially what that will provide um, vendors is like a basic API or basic uh, driver implementation that can be used as a reference. And then they can work on their implementation and eventually we get to pull stuff like third party ECI and everything come to the um, territory of the uh, vendor uh, driver based project. If people want to get involved in this project, particularly vendors, um, what's the what's the avenue for them? Where should they come to to hunt you down? Hashtag Open Tech Cyborg. All right. Hashtag Time. Yeah, we're pretty active. Right. These are the China Time Zone. We are in Eastern Standard Time, so pretty much cover kind of today. <laughs> and is that the main place that, that you're looking for collaborations from from hardware vendors? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, actually, I'd say the hardware vendors are waiting on us at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Several of them have come to us and been yeah. like, "What do I do?" And we're like. We need to figure out and get our, so we got the API up and we figure out the rest of the workflow. And once we have a driver ready, we'll be uh, the, um, once we have the generic driver ready, we'll be in a position that they can come in and collaborate. So there's several people who are just waiting on that and waiting to hear from us that, hey, we're ready, come on. And you anticipate that'll be ready in the, in the Queen's time frame? Yeah. Okay. Definitely, yeah, because we already have uh, like stuff directories created. And for like, uh, any questions, they could also do an old fashioned way of sending emails to the mailing list with a you know, uh, bracket, you know, sidewalk in the subject. Yeah, and we have had like some conversations with other vendors already, and they, they seem pretty excited on that one this project. So. Well, thank you so much for your time, and uh, good luck on getting that stuff done. Mm -hmm. thank, thank you very much. much. Thank you so much.